So it's heterozygous for the first trait, it's homozygous, dominant for the second trait, and what about the third one? Heterozygous. Just heterozygous, right? Heterozygous just means that you've got two different um, alleles. One's dominant, one's recessive. And then what happens with the female? She is heterozygous for the first trait. She's homozygous recessive for the second trait. And what did you say about the third one? Homozygous recessive on the third trait. And the offspring that we're looking for is what genotype? Homozygous dominant for the first trait. Heterozygous for the second trait. And heterozygous for the third trait. So... The first thing we need to do is figure out how we're going to get each of our gametes. What is a gamete? Egg. The eggs and the sperm, right? The sex cells. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. Um, in your notes, it showed you with the arrows crossing each other. Um, the way that I showed you, which is the way I'm going to draw it out over here, is if you start at that first letter, draw you a line going through the second letter, and then end at the last one. But remember that it's only going to hit each allele for each trait one time. Does that make sense? So the first gamete I end up with is a dominant A, dominant B, dominant C. Is that what you got? Dominant A, dominant B, dominant C. Mm -hmm. We all follow on that so far? Okay. Then I don't even redraw the whole arrow out. I just draw that tail end so that this time... Instead of dominant C, I end up with recessive C. So it's dominant A, dominant B, recessive C, right? Now, sticking with that same dominant A, this time I want you to go through the second dominant B, the one that we haven't touched yet. No, you're sticking with the same A, right? So it's dominant A, dominant B, dominant C, right? It's going to be the same set of alleles um, because your A's and your B's are both the same, right? So you draw that little point off again, and this gamete is a dominant A, dominant B, recessive C. We're following so far. Anybody just completely lost? So those are the four gametes that you can get off of that first dominant A. Now what do we need to do? Go to our recessive A, right? So we're just moving over one spot. So start at your recessive A, go through that first dominant B, and it drops you off where? It drops you off at that dominant C, right? Now, a lot of the mistakes I saw had, um, like, dominant A, recessive A, recessive A as an allele. Can you have three of the same trait? No, right? With our gametes, you're only getting one allele from each trait. So when you start at that recessive A, you end up with recessive A, dominant B, dominant C, Draw your little tail point off again, and this time you end up with recessive A, dominant B, recessive C. And now we need to go through that second dominant B and do the same pattern again. So how many gametes do we end up with from dad? Um, four. Four? Well, no, oh, no, eight. My bad. Eight, right? Which is part of how you check yourself. If you're crossing three traits, then you know that's going to be an eight by eight, which is going to be 64 boxes. If you end up with less than 64 boxes, we know we've messed up somewhere. So let's look at the female. I want you to try and do it on your own. I'm going to draw it out over here. We'll see who gets done first. It's a race. Just kidding.
I'm beating you. I don't care if you put the mail on the side or on the top or Okay, so there's a couple of ways we can do it once we have our gametes. Um, but first, let's check and make sure we got the same gametes. Did you end up with, from mom, four gametes that have dominant A's and recessive B's and C's? Yeah. Did yeah. you end up with four that were completely recessive? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, you did it right. Okay. All right. So here's why what Asia did was really, really smart when she didn't do out the whole thing. What are we looking for in the offspring? The, um, the, the, the genotypes. Get. All the genotypes? No, the offspring, they, they the We're looking for the offspring that the question asked you for, right? So off the bat, we know that it has to be homozygous dominant for what trait? A. So right off the bat, you can cross out any column or row that has a recessive A. There's a lot of them. All the recessive A's. How many boxes does that leave us? With 16 boxes, right? A four by four. Now, the second thing we can do is what do we know the genotype for mom's alleles on that C trait are? What are they always? Recessive. Always recessive. What do we want our offspring to be? Oh, heterozygous. Heterozygous. So what can we get rid of? The recessive C is from dad. Yeah. So am, any gametes that have a recessive C, we can get rid of. So without even having to plug in any of this matching, what do you know right off the bat? How many are left? Six? 16. Well, you got six. You've got eight boxes left. So when we when we cross these, you end up with eight boxes. That have the offspring genotype that you want. Preston, you see that? Okay. It gets a little tricky when you have the um, C's in there because it's hard to tell what's a capital C and what's a lowercase C. Um, which is why I was saying that when you guys are doing this, you need to make sure that you really understand what you're writing down. But so we end up with 8 out of 64. What does that reduce down to? Four. 
do right in my class. Oh, he's real quiet. <laughs> it reduces down to 1 over 8, right? Which gives us what decimal? You tell me. What's the difference? 1 divided by 8 or 8 divided by 1? 1 divided by 8. 1 divided by 8. Uh, I'll look at it in just a second. One divided by eight, and it gives you what decimal? I know you guys didn't. That's why we lost so many points. If it asks you for the probability, it wants a percent. 0 0.125. If you get one out of eight questions right, did you make a 0 0.125 on your test? Yes. No, no, no. You made it 25. What do you need to do with this decimal? You need to turn to the um, To make it a percentage, what do you do? Multiply it by 100. Which means that we have a 12... 0.5% chance of getting that offspring from these parents. And that's how you guys are supposed to have done the math question on your Unit 5 exam.